You know, Gatorade feels high energy drink in real life. Hershey's really is feeling Mr. Beast Beast of all. Like, Poppy is a problem for Coca-Cola. In a way that when I was yelling about it 10 years ago, they didn't have the belief that it was real enough, so they didn't, it didn't have to matter as much. They're feeling market loss. <laughs>
to launch this book than here. Literally it's called Day Trading and it's about attention. And the four most uh, brands and innovative brands in the world I do believe are listed here. And some of the companies you mentioned along with their competitors and their contemporaries are going into the most challenging decade in communication history. Let there be no confusion. This book was not written for ha 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 and giggles and fun. It's being written because we are entering the most challenging media and marketing landscape that we have seen since the transition of the radio to the television. Social media and modern digital platforms will completely impact the prices of all these incredible companies over the next decade like it has for the last. And I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for being here. I'm honored to be here. It is a little boy's dream to be here and so I thank you and I'm excited to be here and I hope everybody has a great day. Here we go! That means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank so, you. Thank you. Yeah, so That's you have so all good. the photos from today. I love that. I'm going to put that on my shelf. Let's get that on the back of my shelf. All right? Amazing. Thank you for your help. Oh, my pleasure. We couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> your collar. Ever rang the bell at either exchange? Mm -hmm. I know not no. here. So this was really yeah, the first. Yeah, really fun. That's awesome. Your shirt. We'll want to know every, everything you think, but not publicly. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not done yet. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. I'm Sahara Thadani, the Chief Digital Officer here at Nasdaq. It's a pleasure to be with you all here today. Thank you, Gary, for convening us and giving us a reason to really be here and be in conversation. Um, it's my pleasure to welcome you all to NASDAQ. We try to ask everyone this question, or I do at least, not we. Um, if you suspend reality and you had a billion dollars, not to put a down payment for the Jets, but to use it to, to spend to solve some kind of problem, what would it be? I believe that the biggest issue in the world is that humans are predominantly insecure. And that leads to envy and jealousy and unhappiness. You know, I, I just wish people genuinely could love themselves. And so I want to create a vaccine that, inst that instills actual self-esteem while it extracts insecurity because I genuinely believe if that happened, then everybody would get this fantasy world that you dream about. The answer to the quiz, my friends, is insecurity. It drives everything. And on the flip side, all the good comes from pure self-esteem. You want your kids to be able to deal with social media? It's not deleting TikTok off the phone. It's at building actual self-esteem. The way we talk about social media today is the way that we talked about alcohol in this country in 1925. You can ban it, you can do anything you want. That's not the solution. The solution is understanding how to handle it. We are so incapable of handling judgment from other people that that's what's happening. So that's what I would spend a billion dollars on. I love that. Thank you so much.